Hey everyone, Phil here from Wong Fu Productions and as a proud Asian American, I wanted to share with you uh, a photo, a family photo, embarrassing photo, um, to celebrate Asian Heritage Month because seeing me as a kid is, is celebrating. <laughs> um, but no, this is a photo that is pretty uh, embarrassing but at the same time, I'm proud of it because this is my childhood and and it's with my mom. So May, which is Asian Heritage Month, is also, you know, also has Mother's Day. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this picture. All right, so there's a, lot, there's a lot to unpack here, but this is a picture of me and my mom. And we're at a, like a performance rehearsal or a recital, but that's me in a ballet outfit. Now, yes, I took ballet as a kid in elementary school. And um, I'm not embarrassed. You know, maybe when I was like younger, but um, I'm not embarrassed because uh, I think it actually gave me a lot of great skills uh, moving forward in life. But um, no, the reasons why I took ballet, that's actually the, the funny part. So, well, first of all, my mom was a super mom growing up. Uh, she put me in like all these different extracurricular activities, like piano and violin, obviously, but we also did like choir, we did like arts, kumon. Um, I think I even took like a couple years of like a French class. Um, but yeah, ballet was another one of them. And, and through all this, you know, she still kept a full-time job and still cooked dinner every day. She was amazing. Um, but no, the reason why ballet was thrown at the picture was because I guess when I was a kid, I was uh, pigeon-toed and that means um, like your feet point inwards. And when I went to the doctor, I guess the doctor apparently told my mom that the way to fix that is to either put the opposite shoes on the other foot or ballet and I guess my mom saw an opportunity to uh, to enroll me in another activity and so I started ballet along with my sister who was already taking it and yeah I was one of the there weren't a lot of guys obviously um, and what's even funnier is that like first of all I think I was like the only Asian kid um, Asian boy first of all and like all the girls were like were I think basically white. My 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 uh, the city I grew up in was was predominantly white. Um, but then the funny thing is because I was in it, my mom, my mom's friends also saw me in it, and so they actually got their uh, their sons to also be in it with me. So it was basically like we had like five Asian boys that were in this ballet class. Um, but it was really it was it was a really weird time. I don't know. Like I didn't really question it. I really didn't like think it was strange. Um, and yeah, I got to learn how to dance and dance well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was in the Nutcracker, I was like a soldier. Um, but no, it, it actually really did teach me a lot about dance uh, moving forward. And I ended up being in a dance team in high school and then also hip hop team in college. So yeah, all started back with some pigeon toed feet and my mom wanted to, uh, wanted to put me in a ballet class. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed that story. Hope you guys all have a wonderful Asian Heritage Month. And um, yeah, be proud. Be proud of your past and the stuff our parents put us through.